Hi, and welcome to GoodyearBrakes.com. Today we're gonna to demonstrate how to bleed the brakes on your vehicle, and it's always better to bleed the brakes with a friend, and today I'm working with Jesse Kaiser. Yep, and if you're wondering why you should bleed your brakes, the simple answer is that from normal wear and tear, moisture, water, and air can all seep into your hydraulic braking system. Bleeding the brakes removes any moisture-laden brake fluid that will interfere with brake function. So, let's get started. Okay, let's review the supplies and tools we're gonna to use to bleed the brakes. First, put on a good pair of latex work gloves and your eye protection. Brake fluid is highly corrosive and toxic, so you're not gonna to wanna to touch it, nor will you wanna get it on the car because it will remove the paint. Next, grab a box end wrench and dot three brake fluid. You'll also need a bleeder bottle like this one with a 3 16 rubber line. Finally, you're gonna need a funnel and a suction tool like this one. First, using the suction tool, suction out as much of the old brake fluid from the master cylinder as you can. Then pour new brake fluid into the master cylinder. Now connect the hose to the bleeder valve. Okay, this is where Jesse comes into play. As I open the bleeder valve, Jesse will step on the brake pedal to force out the old brake fluid and any air that might be trapped in the system. With the bleeder valve closed, Jesse will slowly pump the brake pedal three to four times and then hold pressure on the pedal as I open the bleeder valve. It's important to remember not to press the pedal to the floor. One tip is to place your left foot under the brake pedal. Remember that when the bleeder valve is open, your partner presses on the pedal. When it's closed, your partner releases the brake pedal. You will repeat the process on each brake. Okay, once the air bubbles are gone and the fluid is clear, check your master cylinder brake fluid level and make sure it's to the fill line. While bleeding the brakes, keep checking the fluid level, making sure the master cylinder does not run dry. Once you have bled each brake and you have tightened all the bleeder valves, press down on the brake pedal. You should get a good firm feel when you press on the pedal. Now you're ready to take your vehicle out and test the brakes. It's always a good idea to take your vehicle to a vacant lot or quiet street just in case you have any issues. The final step is taking our new Goodyear brakes out to seat the new brake pads. Brake in, bedding in, and burnishing are different terms for the same thing. These terms refer to the process of conditioning new disc pads and rotors. The following steps are recommended to achieve optimum performance and life out of your new pads. Perform 15 stops from 35 to 40 miles per hour down to five miles per hour. Allow the brakes to cool for 30 seconds between stops and try to avoid panic stops or hard braking for approximately 200 miles. The benefits of a proper break-in are reducing noise and vibration, improving performance, and eliminating any glaze which might cause noise and reduce the efficiency of your braking system. So that's how you bleed your vehicle's brakes. For Jesse Kaiser, I'm Bruno Massel. Thanks for watching this video at GoodyearBrakes.com.